What's good? It's Ramen on Wheels, and as I promised, it's nighttime. So let's get it. <laughs> so this story is about a college student, a college student named Emma. So it's the end of the semester and guess what? Final exams are here. So she decides to take over the basement floor of her dorm room because she realized, guess what? I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter in order to study for these finals exams, which were the next morning. Her roommate, Lily, uh, likes to get to bed early. So what she did, she went ahead, she packed up everything that she thought she needed to study and headed downstairs where she studied and studied and studied and studied. She studied till about two o'clock in the morning when she realized that uh, that one of the textbooks she needed, she left it upstairs in, uh, in her room on, on her bed. So, of course it's like, man, I got, now I have to go upstairs and get my textbooks, whatever. So she goes back up to the third floor because her dorm room was on the door, third floor. She goes back up to the dorm room. And of course this is a dorm room, so they keep the hallway lights on for uh, just, just for the students. It's automatic, they just keep the lights on. So she was like, she's walking down her long hallway and she's kind of like trying to tiptoe because it's more than just her room in this hallway. They got other dorm students uh staying in this hallway as well so she's walking of course every time she steps it's an old dorm room so you know you got the creaks and uh, uh from the floorboards and stuff so once she reaches her room she tries to slowly turn the knob and slowly push open the door because she doesn't want to wake her roommate so uh she kind of opens the door just enough for her to squeeze through because the hallway is shining in and she doesn't want to shine on her on her roommate uh lily uh so she kind of just slowly creeping and she's just trying to be real considerate uh so soon as she gets into the room though uh the whole room smells strange smells like this like metal or metallic smell and it's, it instantly puts a frown on her face like what is that and then she feels like a chill like her whole body comes over a chill you know like the little goops, goosebumps you get on your arm and she gets this strange malice feeling as if like there's a like an evil glare or glance or glazes on her but She's thinking, it's just a mind trick. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I've been studying. Maybe this is just in my head. And she could hear Lily breathing because Lily's bed, her, as soon as you walk in, it's her dresser, then her bed, and gets the furthest wall. It's Lily, Lily's bed and the window. So she could hear Lily breathing, only Lily's breath is kind of heavy and breathing hard as if she just uh, got through running or something, but she chalked it up to maybe Lily's getting sick or stressed for the exams, just like because everybody in the whole dorm room is kind of like tense because all these final exams we're studying for. So she figures uh, may, ne Lily is coming down with something. Okay. So she's kind of creeping along the wall since she can't see. She kept the lights off because she doesn't want to wake Lily. So she's kind of creeping along the dresser, getting trying to get to her bed, touching around, trying to find her textbook. And she could hear some kind of dripping going on, uh, but it's very, very slight. And they have a bathroom in their room. So she's figuring, oh man, uh, is the sink messed up again? Why is it a leaking, a leaky faucet? Whatever, old dorm room, it happens. So she's reaching around, uh, she feels for a book. Okay, and then she finds her book. So uh, she grabs her, her history textbook and then she kind of like tries to to uh, ease out the room, which she does. She finally eases out the room. She closes the door as softly as she can, and it's like, okay, cool. Now we can go back downstairs and study. 
So she goes back down the stairs, plop on the sofa, and continues to study until about 6 o'clock in the morning. Finally, she decides, okay, you know what? Enough is enough. I have final exams in the next few hours. I need to go upstairs and get me a few hours sleep. So that's what she does. She decides, okay, let's go upstairs. She go upstairs. I'm going to jump in the bed. But it's the same time. Just in case Lily is still sleeping, let's, let's try to keep it down. Uh, mind you, it is six o'clock in the morning so it is getting light outside starting to get bright outside um so she goes freeze for the door as soon as she gr uh, starts to open the door again a giant whiff of like metal or metallic kind of smell like just hits her so she's like man what is that smell so she opens the door wider now the light the the window light is coming in and the moment she opens the door she sees lily spread eagle on top of her bed with her neck slit from ear to ear and then there's blood all over Lily's dresser dripping down to the floor immediately she begins screaming to the top of her lungs She, she screams and screams and screams until finally people in the hallway from the other dorm room starts to hear and come out to see what's wrong. Everyone's running to her, gathering, trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on. Uh, and uh, another friend from another dorm room gets Emma and is like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And as soon as she looks in the room, she sees Lily on the bed and then she looks up and sees something on the wall. She, tell, she points to Emma to look what's on the wall and completely collapses after reading what she sees. It says, written on the wall in Lily's blood, aren't you glad you didn't turn on the lights? Whoa, that is something you guys, that is the end of that story. Wow, so what do you guys think? Did you guys find that creepy or funny? The, the roommate died. And so when she crept into the room, she was hearing her roommates. The heavy breathing wasn't Lily's, but it was the killer. And she, the, the faucet she was hearing, the leaky faucet, was actually Lily's blood dripping to the floor. And just think, if she would have turned on the lights, she probably would have been dead too, you guys. But I thought, I thought it was funny, not funny, but it, it was just like, whoa, are you serious? This whole time, you're creeping into your room and there's a killer in there. Your best friend was dead at that time and you had no idea. And the murderer was standing right next to you. That was something else, you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all for this one. Tell me what you think. I might try something different. I uh, might not. Uh, if you guys like that, let me know. Hit that comment section below. And uh, throw up that likes and share button also. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Bye-bye.